Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Christ-centered house of God. Holy Spirit has told us to teach the Word of God and love the people of God. If you feel you have something missing in your life and you need a place to understand the purpose the Father has for your life, join us at 10 a.m. at the Marsh Creek Community Center, 3050 North New Hope Road, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27604. Amen. This is the house that love built. Hallelujah. This Hallelujah. is the house that love Bill. Welcome to Household of Faith yes. Ministries. Conference called Bible Study and now Facebook Live. Glory to Amen. God. So we are so excited that you have joined us. We are ready to teach the word of God. Hallelujah. Are you guys ready? ready. We are pumped. Come on, babe. Why don't you pray? Okay, Father God, we come now posture in ourselves, Father God, to hear the word of God. We thank you, Father God, and as we posture ourselves to hear it, Father God, we expect it to come across with boldness, accuracy, Father God, and with the spirit of excellence. Yes. We ask that you anoint our tongue with as the pen of a ready writer, Father God, so that we can write that which the Holy Spirit brings through the oracles, Father God, that it will be life-changing words that we can apply instantly. So we're thinking now, Father God, we expect a change as we hear this word for the joy of the Lord is our strength, Father God, and we expect, Father God, for it to change us. And we think if we walk by faith, not by sight, call those Holy things to be not as though they were. And we call this a life-changing Bible study, and we are ready to receive the word of God, and not just here, but we will be doers of that that we hear. And we thank you now that the word will come across unchecked by any outside forces, Father God, and it will penetrate our hearts, Father God, to bring a change. So we Thank you now as we receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Oh. Glory to God. Well, as Thank usual, you. we are excited we about are teaching excited. the word of God. Uh, we've been excited over this word because oh we've been studying and praying and oh talking my. to one another and preaching to one another yes. <laughs> and going over the notes. And so we've been excited. We couldn't wait to share it with you. We were really pumped Amen. about it. Share Glory this. to God. So um, the last two weeks we were teaching on the book of Jonah and we were, Holy Spirit began to talk to us about obedience and about blessing. Well, it was about obeying, really just about obeying, wasn't it? Uh, being obedient to what God calls you to do, to the strategy, whatever the plan is, whatever uh, Holy Spirit wants to say to you, he wants you to obey him Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Chloe. Immediately. And so praise God for that. Uh, we were seeking Holy Spirit, right? And seeking God's direction for this Bible study. And Holy Spirit spoke a word to us. Oh my goodness. Um, I love that when we ask him what he wants us to do, he tells us what he wants us to Absolutely. do. <laughs> Glory to God. Boo, why don't you share with them what Holy Spirit said? As we were seeking God's direction for this Bible study, Holy Spirit spoke. Yeah. This is what he said. Obedience extends the blessings to generations. What did he say again? Obedience extends the blessings to generations. To what? Generations. Glory to God. Obedience extends the blessing to generations. Now, we've all heard that obedience brings the blessing. But Holy Spirit, he's going to take it even a step further tonight. I'm telling you, it's going to be a blessing to Amen. you. Praise God. Amen. So obedience extends the blessing to generations. <laughs> so let's define some words. Hon. Why don't you start with obedience? Obedience. To hear God's word and act accordingly. <laughs> Glory. What does obedience mean? To hear God's word and act accordingly. Hear it. And do it. Because that's what that really means, right? Absolutely. To act accordingly means what? To hear it 
and do it. Hear it and do it. Glory to God. When you hear God, do what he hear. Do, I'm sorry. When you hear God, do what you hear. Do what you hear. Well, the word tells us to um, not just be hearers only. Right. To be doers of the word and not just hearers only. Um, I'm a doer, not just, just a hearer. Hear. Glory to God. Another thing in the obedience means do what you hear and exactly what you hear. Don't change anything. Absolutely. Because you change one letter can change what you heard. Glory to God. <laughs> exactly. So we need to do it exactly and exactly. we need to do it promptly. Promptly. Let's, oh, glory. We need Quick. to do it exactly and, and we need to do it promptly. Quick. Glory to God. So obedience means to hear God's word and act accordingly. Uh, you said hear it and do it. That's Glory right. to God. When you, as soon as you hear God, oh, do oh, what you hear. Yeah. Do what you, you hear. hear. Do what you hear. Glory to God. So now let's define blessing. Blessing. The Old Testament term for blessing abound in the Old Testament, occurring over 600 times. Glory. So let's define blessing. A public declaration of a favored status with God, an endowed power for prosperity and success. The blessing is a benefit of the covenant relationship. Let's do it one more time, sweetie. A public declaration of a favored status with God. I like that. A public declaration of a favored, I like favor, yes. a favored status with God. Glory, that's blessing. Mm -hmm. An endowed power for prosperity and success. So blessing is an endowed power. Glory. That's good too. The blessing is a benefit of the covenant relationship. Ooh, so if I have a relationship with Jesus Christ, I'm in covenant with God through my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I'm eligible for the blessing. Glory to God. It's a benefit. It's a benefit. It's a benefit. <laughs> what else do you want to tell us about the blessing, darling? <laughs> The blessing is not something that you have to beg God for. Oh, no. <laughs> that was real important. We talked about that this morning, right? <laughs> the blessing is not something that you have to beg God for. <laughs> See, you must understand. Getting blessed is not your idea. Come on here. Oh, man, we had, oh, we had good church off of that this morning. Not Glory so. to God. Getting blessed is not your idea. Right from the beginning of time, the blessing was whose idea? God, it was God's, God's idea. idea. Babe, look, look at the people right there. <laughs> whose idea was it? It was God's idea. Glory. So <laughs> getting blessed is not your idea. idea. You didn't think of that first. The blessing is God's idea, idea for you. See, <laughs> you think getting blessed is your idea. You think you're telling God something. You try, Oh, no, 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 no. The blessing is God's idea. Right from the beginning of time, yeah. the blessing was God's idea. idea. The history of Israel begins with the promise of blessing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. matter of fact, boo, I know we didn't go there this uh, as we were preparing the notes, but... Even before Israel, mm -hmm. in the garden with Adam, God was already like, oh, we're blessing and multiply. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. You be fruitful and multiply. All of that is blessing. Awesome. So blessing uh, started at the beginning of time. In the garden, God already had a system ready yes, for blessing. Yes, Glory yes, to yes. God. See, what we need to do is make an intentional uh, 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 change. And that is, even in the blessings, stop trying to help God. Just obey God. We try to help him. When we try to help him, it can put us in an arena of disobedience because trying to help God, he really don't need our help. He just needs us to be obedient to what he tells us. Glory. And it really will change. It, it, it will get you into a, a posture to where you're constantly receiving the blessing because it's not of you. You can't give yourself a blessing. Now you can get yourself in line to receive a blessing. Oh, that's good. so I can't give myself a blessing, but I can put myself in position to receive a blessing. Oh, that that's good right there, Chloe. All right, so go with us to Genesis the twelfth chapter, and we're going to start at verse one. Genesis twelve and one. Holy Spirit wants to talk to us about obedience extends the blessing.
obedience extends the blessing and not just extends the blessing but it, it extends the blessing to generations see uh i love the revelation that holy spirit brought to us about this obedience extends the blessing to generations glory to god so we are going to start at genesis the 12th chapter and we're going to start at verse 1 genesis 12 and verse 1 now the lord has said to abram Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. Let's do it again. Glory. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. This is the word of the Lord. What is God asking of Abraham? He says, Leave what you know and go into what you don't know. <laughs> he said, What? He said, leave what you know and go into what you don't know. Leave what you know and go into what you don't know. Man, that's faith, isn't that's it? Faith. Leave what you know and go into what you don't know. Leave your country, leave your family, your father's house to a land. He didn't say to a land that I showed you. He said to a land that I will show you. Mm -hmm. That means you got to step out in faith. Leave what you know and go into what you don't mm -hmm. know. Glory. I know you can't see it. But by faith, be obedient to it. Oh, glory. When you can't see it, by faith, be, be obedient, obedient to it. it. Glory. You know, it's time for Abraham to hear and do it. Next, God tells Abraham, the blessing is extended to him upon his obedience. Let's see the blessing God has for Abraham. So we're uh, looking at verse 2 now, Genesis 12 and verse 2. Verse 1, we saw, he's like, okay, I need you to leave what you know and go into what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And it, once he heard that, see, now the Lord had said to Abram. The Lord said to Abram. Mm -hmm. So he heard the word of the Lord. Uh, what is he going to do? With the word that he heard. Glory. Now that determines everything. So let's read verse 2. Genesis 12 and verse 2. But, but can we share something with them right there? Just so that they know teachable moment. Everything you do in life pertaining to the word of God, you must step out on faith. Yes. Obedience. You must step out with your faith to even be obedient because it's something you may not see. It's unfamiliar yeah. to you. But we live by faith. We 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 walk by faith. Everything we do, even in the act of obedience, it's done. Oh, do your faith. Obeying takes faith. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. So you gotta you gotta have faith to be, to make, obey God. Make sure we know it. Glory. Now we go on to verse two. Verse two, because we're now we're gonna see the blessing God has for Abram. Verse two. I will make you a great nation. I will make who? You a great nation. Glory. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. Note, the blessing is not something that just is. The blessing does. Say that again. That's good. No, the blessing is not something that just is. The blessing does. Glory. The blessing is standing by. Waiting for your obedience. Babe, when you said that this morning, I got so blessed off of that. Wait a minute. Yeah. You're like, the blessing is there all the all time. All the time. I, I love what you said to me this morning. The blessing is in the storehouse. In the storehouse. the blessing is in the storehouse. And it's already got your name on it. It already has its assignment. But the blessing is standing by waiting for your obedience. Your, Glory to God. Your obedience give the blessing the dispatch order. Oh. Oh, say that again. <laughs> Your obedience give the blessing the dispatch. It tells it to dispatch because if you is obedient, now you can receive. Oh, that's good, <laughs> Chloe. Because your obedience is what extends <laughs> the blessing. Uh, Glory to God. Uh, oh man, you messed me up with that. Uh, oh, my obedience. Oh, gives gives the blessing dispatch the orders. orders. Oh, praise be to God. To her. Go to him. It says what? Go to her. Glory. Go to him. But listen, when they're obedient, hurry up and get him that. That's your reward. Ooh, glory to God. So it's waiting on your obedience. obedience. Glory. Uh, it's already in the storehouse. Already has its assignment. Already has your name Morning. on it. And the moment you obey God, glory to God. Dispatch, Dispatch orders. orders. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. 
Glory to God. So listen, because your obedience is what extends the blessing. Obedience extends the blessing. Upon your obedience, the blessing makes you something you weren't before. Because <laughs> notice in verse 2, he said, I'm going to make you, you a great see. nation. So that means he wasn't already yeah. a great nation, but he... Upon his obedience, God said, I'm going to make you yes. a great nation. So I love what you just said. Your obedience, the blessing, or upon your obedience, Obedient. the blessing right. makes you something that you weren't before you obeyed. Wait. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. The blessings make you what you couldn't make yourself. Say that again. The blessing make you what you couldn't make yourself. Oh, but that's not the end. <laughs> no. The blessing no. not only makes you something, but your obedience now extends. Chloe, I like that word. The blessing. Mm -hmm. This extension now empowers you to be a blessing. Notice verse 2. He said, I'm going to make you a great nation. I will bless you. I'm going to make your name great. Then he said, and you shall be a blessing. Oh, that's something oh, totally God. different. That goes to a whole nother level. Whole nother uh, being blessed is one thing. Mm -hmm. Boy, and that's good, that's isn't it? Sense. But now all of a sudden, I'm going to extend your obedience. Extends the blessing. Now you're not just going to be blessed, but you are going to be so blessed. Oh, my God. You're going to be so blessed that you can now be a blessing. Right. Oh, that's so now, who good. Who wouldn't want to be so blessed that you have to just give some of the blessings away? Oh, glory. Just to keep, so they can keep coming. You don't have nowhere else to put them. Oh, glory to God. But watch this. It's still not over. It's not over. Look at verse 3, right? Genesis 12 and verse 3. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I will bless those who bless you. Oh, wait a minute. That's because of my obedience. Of my obedience. All right. And I will curse him who curse you. And in... You all, the families. And in you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Let's read it again. Wow. I love it. Wow. Glory. I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse him who curse you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Oh, notice God said, I will. will. <laughs> oh, glory. Oh, uh, God, God wants to bless you. Hallelujah. He says, I will. Glory to God. You got to understand who's saying, I will now. It ain't, it's not another man telling you that. Yes. When another man telling you, I will, you may want to just check, listen to the whole thing. But if God say, I will, just say, I go. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I will, I go. I'm, I'm telling you, on the other side of that obedient act right there, yeah. it's blessings. Glory to God. Well, not only is it God's will to bless you, and not only is it God's will to make you a blessing. Oh, see, because we just finished saying, oh, he's going to bless us. Glory. But then he's going to extend that. Oh, yes. blessings, yes. Extend. Yes. blessings extend. Yes. Blessings extend. Blessings extend. So I'm going to bless you, but then I'm going to extend that because now you're going to be a blessing. You guys ready for another extension? Glory <laughs> to God. It extends again. Glory. Uh, it goes to a whole nother level. But this blessing extends to generations. Glory to God. He says, and in you, in you, because of your obedience, all, please, I love the word all, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. See, see I don't, I, I'm, I'm hoping we understand when you see the extended. Yeah. You know, if you see an extended, you got an extension cord. You even see some things when they build in gigantic buildings, it extends it to the top of the building. Yes. But even with that, we need to understand the extended we talking about. Yeah. It's no beginning yes, sir. and it's yes, sir. no end. You talking about the extended is the hand of God. Glory. So it's no beginning and it's no end. You can't even wrap. Your you can, we can't mind, comprehend. You can't comprehend. We it. can't comprehend the this things extension. that we said is considered an extension. You can see that this extension I'm talking about. You cannot see the beginning or the end. Oh, that's so good. You're man. talking about the extended hand of God. So uh, obedience extends oh, the glory, blessing. Glory. Uh, you get blessed. Glory <laughs> to God. Then I'm gonna make glory. you a blessing. Oh. 
And then I'm going to take that obedience and I'm going to put it down into the generations. Glory, Glory to God. God. So let's look at the definition of extends. Glory. To make larger, to increase in quantity or dimension, to extend in limits. Wait. So there, there are no limits. There are no limits. Because it extends even in limits. Oh, <laughs> it extends even oh, in limits. Oh, Glory to God. So I what does it mean again? It to, to make larger. Yeah. To increase in quantity yes. or dimensions. To extend in limits. Glory to God. Another one. To cause something to straighten out. Or stretch out. Oh, I love that one. Wait a minute. So, my obedience extends the blessing. Chloe, mm -hmm. it can cause something to straighten out or stretch out. Come on here. Anything crooked up in here. Mm -hmm. When I obey God, it straightens out or stretches out. Chloe, whatever is necessary. That's it. That's it. Glory to God. To stretch forth or hold out. To add to something in order to make it bigger or longer. Ooh, glowing. To continue in a specified direction, distance, space, or time. Extension, glowing. And the Spirit of God spoke to us, right? Your obedience extends the blessing. Uh, glory. Uh, it uh, makes it larger. Yes. It increases in quantity. Yes. It ex increases the dimensions. Yes. It goes beyond limits. Oh, yes. God, have mercy. Yes. Your obedience takes the blessing beyond oh, God. limits. God. There are no boundaries. There are no walls. There are no beginning. There's no end. Mm. Your obedience extends the Gosh. blessing. It straightens things out. <laughs> it stretches things out. It adds to it. It'll make it bigger or longer. It can go in any direction. It can go in any distance. It can go into space or time. Oh, oh obedience. Oh, Glory to God. Extends the blessing. They share with them what Holy Spirit said to us about obedience. Your obedience doesn't just bring blessings into your life. Your obedience makes you a blessing. And now because you are a blessing, generations receive the blessing. Tell them again what Holy Ghost said, Chloe. Your obedience doesn't just bring blessings into your life. Your obedience makes you a blessing. And now because you are a blessing, generations receive the blessing. Love this. Holy Spirit said your obedience is a seed. Your yes. obedience is a seed. Yes. Go with us to Genesis, the first chapter. And the 11th verse, Genesis 1, verse 11. We're going to read 11 and 12. I hope you can. I'm getting so excited. Oh, Ooh, honey. glory. I'm getting I, so excited. Yeah, I, it just made me. I mean, I just want to be obedient. That's, glory to God. It just stirred my heart up. Man, I want to obey. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Because it's going to bring the blessing. The blessing on my life. Then it's going to cause me to be a blessing. Then that blessing is going to go down to the generations. Amen. Glory to God. So Genesis 1, verse 11 and verse 12. Because Holy Spirit said obedience is a seed. Is a seed. Ooh, glory. Genesis 1 and verse 11. Then God said. Let the earth bring forth grass, the herbs that yield seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit, according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth, and it was so. Let's read it one more time. Verse 11. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herbs that yield seed, and the fruit tree that yield fruit, according to its kind. Whose seed is in itself on the earth, and it was so. Ha, glory to God. Go ahead. This is the word of the Lord. The earth, the grass, the herbs, and the fruit all heard the word. You remember when the Holy Spirit spoke to us one time and said, Everything hears. Everything hears. Everything hears. Well, here's proof of That's that. Proof of that. Who, uh, tell them again who heard the word. The earth, the grass, the herbs, and the fruit all heard the word. Let's watch them obey what they heard. Glory. Let's watch them <laughs> obey what, they, what heard. they heard. All right. So verse 12. Let's watch them obey what they heard. And the earth brought forth grass. Oh, wait a minute. That earth obeyed. And it obeyed. The earth that yield seeds according to its kind. And the tree that yield fruit whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep teaching. The earth... The grass, the herbs, and the fruit all obeyed what they heard. What we see that the system is extended 
blessings. Wait, back that up again. We see that the system of extended blessings was put in place from the beginning. Oh, glory. The extension was not set in motion. No, 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 no. Because you can't do a knot there. We can't do a knot there. The extension was set in motion. Uh, it was set in motion at creation. Amen. Right from the very beginning. We see that the system of extended blessing was put in place from the beginning. I love what you said. The earth, the grass, the herb, everything. the fruit, everything obeyed. Obey. Oh, everything he called, he told it to obey. obey. He spoke to it. Everything he spoke to obeyed what they heard. No. Oh, glory to Amen. God. The word, the words bring forth the yields are words of extended blessing. Let's do it again. The words bring forth and yields are words of extended blessings. Yeah. The blessings extends according to its kind. Why? Because the seed is in itself. <laughs> Glory. There is a seed within the seed. Oh, come on. You guys catch hold of that right there. Why did the blessing extend? It has to extend has because to there's a seed, seed within, within the, the seed. seed. The seed is in itself. Glory. The seed is in itself. Hallelujah. So blessing can't help but extend because the seed is in itself. You, oh, that's so good. You, there's a seed within the, the seed. seed. Hallelujah. And Spirit of God said, obedience is a seed. And so there's a seed within my seed of obedience. of obedience. Glory to God. So listen to what Holy Spirit said to us. You guys ready for the prophetic word of the Lord? Listen to what Holy Spirit said. He said, your obedience is a seed. And inside of your seed of obedience is a seed for your future. Come on here. Inside of your seed of obedience that you sow today Amen. is a seed for your future. Amen. The seed that you sow today has a seed in it for your future. <laughs> your seed of obedience extends. See, oh, I just like to stretch it out. Extends way beyond your life into the lives of those connected to you. Oh, wait a minute. Whew, we got to think on that, right? <laughs> Your seed of obedience, it extends way beyond you. See, it extends way beyond us. It extends way beyond your life into the lives of those connected to you. That's right. And then even to those that aren't even born yet. Glory to God. Oh, I'm glad for praying, uh, grandmothers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm glad I am a praying Amen. grandmother because my obedience is setting up Amen. children, grandbabies I don't even have Amen. yet. Glory, 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 Amen. glory. Oh, that's so good. Now, turn with us to Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. I hope you guys are getting excited at home about being obedient. Oh, yeah, Chloe. Oh, all the good stuff that it brings into our lives. Glory to God. Oh, because there's a seed within the seed and obedience is a seed. Glory to God. Exodus chapter 20. And we're going to read verse 5 and 6. Woo, glory. We're going to establish that obedience extends. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit is confirming. His word, obedience extends. My obedience extends. Exodus 25 and 6. Babe, let's just make that confession. My obedience, obedience extends. extends. Glory to God. Way my past my life. Way past my life. Way past my life. Thank it goes Lord. past my life. It goes Thank into my Lord. children's life. It goes into my children's Thank children. You, Come on here. My obedience extends extends. Glory yes, to God. Yes, yes. Oh, this is good. Exodus 20 verse 5 and 6. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Glory to God. You shall now bow down. You shall not. You should not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the Father upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Let's do it again. You shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Visiting. 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 Yeah. The iniquity of the father. 
Where is it going? Upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Go ahead and teach that, darling. Go ahead. The word visiting lets us know that the disobedience of the fathers will extend to the children, even to the third and fourth generation. So disobedience <laughs> extends. Oh, uh, see, not just obedience extends. <laughs> disobedience <laughs> extends <laughs> also. Oh, but see, Holy Spirit wants to shine the light tonight on the extension of your obedience. All right, but you need to know that disobedience extends as well. So let's look at verse 6 because now he's going to show us the obedience side. I love, matter of fact, Minister Tanya Scott always says to us, everything has an opposite. Absolutely. Glory be to God. So disobedience extends. So now let's see the extension of obedience. Verse 6. I call heaven. No, verse I'm 6. Sorry, but showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me, and keep my commandments. Do it one more time, darling. But showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. Who does that mercy go to? To those who what? Love him. Yeah, and do what? And keep his commandments. You can't miss that and. Because see, there's people who say they love him, but mm -hmm. they forgot the and. Mm -hmm. They didn't keep his commandments. Amen. So that mercy extends to those who love me. That's right. And... Keep my commandments. Glory Amen. Amen. to God. Showing mercy is extending mercy. Glory. And the requirement for this extension was obedience. It says to those who love me and keep my commandments. Yeah. The choice is yours. You decide what is extended. Wait, say that again. <laughs> the choice is yours. Who? The choice is whose? Yours. Oh, it's not God. No, yours. It's not the devil's. Yours. Oh, the choice is who? Yours. Ooh, glory. You decide what is extended. Well, so you decide <laughs> what is extended. <laughs> glory be to God. Because something's going to be extended. Because each. You, you're being something all the time. Oh, you're man. either being obedient oh, or disobedient. Man. And so something is extended. The choice is yours. Choice Glory is to yours. God. Turn with us to Deuteronomy chapter 30. We got to go here. Deuteronomy chapter 30. Holy Spirit is teaching us about the, oh, uh, the uh, extension from your obedience. Yes. Obedience extends the blessing yes. not just to you but to generations. generations obedience extends the blessing to generations so now let's look at deuteronomy chapter 30 we're going to read verse 19 and 20 Ooh, because the choice is yours choice glory is yours. to god the choice is not god's the choice is not the devil's the choice is yours, yours. but in fact i just got to tell you the choice is not even those that came before you even though their obedience or their uh, disobedience affect it, affects you, yeah. uh, it, it's, it does not decide your future. Oh, because, you know, Holy Spirit already told us one person can either stop it or start it. One, oh, you, the person before you, that was their choice. Going. Not because you, the one after them, you don't have to take their choice upon you. They let you that's your decision. If it's a good choice, I receive. <laughs> yeah, I receive. If it's a bad one, say, you know what? I'm going to stop this right now. Ooh, Chloe. Speak to the situation. Get in line of obedience. Guess what you did? You done started to receive the blessing. Then. Glory to God. So if the uh, if disobedience <laughs> release the spirit that's going down to the third and fourth generation, you can be the one to stop, stop it. it. Glory. Speak you can be it. the one to stop. Oh, watch this. And you can be the one to start a new one. <laughs> you can be the one to start the new blessing in your generation Listen. online. Chloe. And the, and the good thing about that, when you start it, it pick up where it will stop and it still go to the generations after you. The Chloe. third, the fourth, whatever generation it is. Ooh, Chloe. It don't start over. It continues now. Once it was connected again, it continues that extension. Glory to God. Deuteronomy 30, verse 19. Let's do 19 first. Ready? I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death. Wait a minute. So this is God talking. This is God talking. He said, I call heaven and earth as witnesses, witnesses. today against you. They witnessing this. Glory. That he has set. I love that. God has set. Yes. Where did he set it? Before Glory you. Here. What did he set before us? Life and death. Uh-oh. Blessing and cursing. Therefore, 
choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Go ahead and teach that, babe. God set before you both, but then he tells us which one to choose. He does what? God set before you both, but then he tells us which one to choose. Glory. Your obedience or your disobedience make a choice for you. Wait a minute. Ha, oh, Chloe. What made the choice for me? <laughs> your, your obedience or your disobedience. So your obedience or your disobedience made the choice for you. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. But not for you alone, but also for your descendants, the generations. Yes. If you choose life, your obedience extends the blessings for both you and your descendants to live. Yeah, because you notice what he said. Therefore, choose life. Oh, he's an awesome God, isn't he? He gives us the answer to the test. He got the question and gave the answer to him. Ask me the question, then give me the answer. Ask me the question, then give me the answer. How can you feel just not listening? Oh. How could you fail? And he then he gave you the only way to fail is to be disobedient. Oh my God! And uh, the word therefore means because of this. Yes. He said, "I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. Uh, now, therefore, because of this, choose life." And then he tells you why that both you. <laughs> And your descendants, Chloe, may live. Wait a minute. My choice, my choice not only affects me living, oh. my choice affects my descendants, descendants. living. Amen. Oh, obedience extends the blessing yes. to generations, Chloe. Now look at verse 20, verse 20, verse 20. That you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, that you may cling to him. Wait, that's just the first portion. Go ahead and do that again. That you may love the Lord your God. Yes, God. That you may obey his voice. That you may cling to him. Yeah, go ahead and teach it. This is the word of the Lord. God is telling us how to obey. He's telling us what to do. When we hear the word, our job is to hear it and do it. Say that again. When we hear the word. When we hear the word. Our job is to hear it and do it. Yeah. So he said, love the Lord your God. And how you show him that? You obey Amen. his voice. Amen. You cling to him. <laughs> Glory to God. Let's continue the verse. Let's continue the verse. For he is your life and the length of your days. Oh, man. But we, we had to stop right here at this right portion, there. right? He is your life and the length. Yeah. Of okay, your day. Okay. Wait a minute. We, oh my God, have, help us, Holy Ghost. God is the extension <laughs> and the <laughs> extender. <laughs> oh, glory. God is the extension Ooh, and the extender. Oh, Did you hear that? He is my life mm. and the length Amen. of my life. Amen. The length of my days. Yes. God is the extension and the extender. Amen. That's why it's a supernatural extension. <laughs> Glory to God. And obedience does that. Hallelujah. Obedience extends mm. the blessing. Glory. Glory to God. God is the extension and the extender. Man, I could just say that like, right there. Yeah, let's just take a minute. Ooh, Glory. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. You are Hallelujah. my extension. Oh, thank you for it, Father God. Oh, you are thank you for the my remiss. extender. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. My, uh, my obedience yes, thank you. extends my life. Thank you for the extension. Glory to Jesus. Thank you for the Ooh, all right. Let's continue this verse right here. Let's finish the rest of the verse, baby. And that you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them. Their obedience... Their obedience, glory to God, extended the length of their days. Amen. And their obedience allowed them to dwell in the land. Amen. But notice that this land, glory to God. See, the obedience of their fathers extended this blessing to them. Who's their father? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The obedience of the fathers.
fathers extended the blessing. Glory to God. It allowed them to go into the land and dwell there. And dwell there. Glory to God. Go ahead, Hallelujah. make that. Glory. The obedience of their father extended the blessing to them. The obedience of the fathers is what extended the blessing to them. But their own obedience is what keeps the extension in their lives. You got to hit that again. The obedience of the fathers is what extended the blessing to them. But their own obedience is what keeps the extension in their lives. Oh, I, thought, I can't barely speak Shea English. Koto. Say that again, darling. The obedience of the fathers. Of their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Is what extended the blessing. To them. To them. That's how they got it. But their own obedience is what keeps the extension in their lives. Ah, oh, so, uh, so what they did brought the blessing to me. But what I do keeps the blessing on me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whether you're going to keep it or give Ooh. it away. That's your call. Every individual determines the yes, extension yes. of the blessing. Amen. Oh, every Amen. individual determines the extension of the blessing. Come on here. See, what they sowed because there was a seed in the seed. Yes, their obedience sowed into my future. Their obedience brought blessing into my Amen. life. Yes, Glory yes, be to Lord, God. Lord. But now I got to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, you do. My life, how I live, how Amen. I obey God, whether or not I'm obedient determines whether the blessing stays on me and extends to the future. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. I love what Holy Spirit said next. Every time a situation comes up in your life, you have the opportunity to extend the blessing the or the curse. Do that again, Daddy. Every time a situation comes up in your life, you have the opportunity to extend the blessing or the curse. So every time something comes up in my life, mm -hmm. I have the opportunity to extend the blessing or the curse. Amen. Man, that's powerful. Powerful. I have the opportunity. The decision I make, yes. the decisions I make, determines what's extended. Yes. Oh, the decisions I make determines what's extended. Mm -hmm. See, I got to meditate on it. <laughs> the decisions that I make determines what's extended to me and also determines what's extended to my future, yeah. to the generation. Glory be to God. Well, I believe this. If God would ask me a question and then tell me how to answer it, I do believe if I need to make a decision, if I ask some God, what decision should I make in this situation? He'll tell me what decision I should make and how to make the decision. Glory to God. So how can I, only way I break that extended blessing is not going to him for the guidance. Mm -hmm. Because when he I ask him, he's going to be what? He's going to tell me I just need to be obedient to what he's talking about if I don't ask him. Then he can't tell me. But if he would get, ask me a question and answer it, if I ask him a question, he's going to answer that one too. Oh, praise God, because there's a seed in the, <laughs> the seed. seed. All right, Proverbs 13 and 22. We got to hit that right there. And we love this revelation that Holy Spirit gave us. And uh, I'm, I'm praying it's going to shed light. It's going to shine yes. something on, oh. on your life. Uh, if you like us, you thought about it one way and Holy Spirit just took it to a whole nother level. Hallelujah. Proverbs 13, 22, because obedience extends the blessing yes. to generations. Yes. Proverbs 13 and verse 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Yeah, let's do it again, baby. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children children. But the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Ah, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. Children's children. But the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Glory to God. Go ahead and teach this, baby. Teach this. We always thought that scripture, that scripture meant material things. That we leave for them. Say that again. We always thought that that scripture meant material things that we leave for them. 
Yeah, see, we always, I, I know yeah. me personally, yeah. a good man leaves an inheritance. I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to leave something for these children. I'm going to leave some money. Yeah. I'm going to leave some land. I'm going to leave something material yeah. for yeah. these children. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I need to leave something because in order to be a good, good. man, I need good. to leave. Amen. I need to leave some material stuff for these children. Glory to God. And that's okay to do so. That's okay. Yes, but Lord. Holy Spirit showed us. That we have the opportunity to leave even greater inheritance. To leave an even greater, greater inheritance. inheritance. Glory. A good man is an obedient man. Wait a minute. See, what's, what qualifies you to be a good man? <laughs> a good man is an obedient man. Yes. Your obedience is an inheritance. Your obedience is what? <laughs> an inheritance. Glory to God. And your obedience leaves an inheritance to your children's children. Wait a minute. What? Say that again. And your obedience leaves an inheritance to your children's children. I love this because, sugar, if you ain't got no money in the bank, like if you just making it right now, if you got enough, you know, you just trying to take care and you, you really have a desire in your heart to leave them some stuff. And you trust in God and you're doing some things oh, so that you can, you can uh, have some wealth aside. You want to leave an inheritance for your children. You want to leave some material things for your children. Nothing wrong with that. That's a great thing. But know this also. There's a greater inheritance yes. that you can leave for your children. Glory be to God. I hear in the spirit, obedience is better than money. Ooh, glory. Obedience is something we can pass down generation to generation, but money, it can be stopped somewhere. We're looking for money in a midst of obedience. Obedience is better than money. Go with it, God. Because obedience can bring money and a whole lot more. <laughs> in the Bible, when they asked the man what would he prefer, he said wisdom. Yeah. Give me wisdom to be obedient. Money is never an issue. <laughs> Oh, Chloe. Give me wisdom to be obedient. Money is not an issue. Uh, honey, when I'm obedient to the word of God, nothing is an issue. <laughs> nothing is an issue. Oh, Chloe. Because God. we say blessings and it extends. It extends the blessing. To third and fourth generation. It extends the blessing. It extends the blessing. <laughs> it extends the blessing. My <laughs> obedience, my obedience is an inheritance <laughs> that I can leave to my future generations. And nobody can stop it. Nobody can interfere with it. I leave money to bank if I don't have the right paperwork. They can't get it. Yes, sir. But if I leave an obedience spirit, they can pick that up and continue to be obedient. And guess what? No one can stop it. No one can block it. Chloe, <laughs> you better go ahead. A good man is an obedient <laughs> man. Your obedience is an inheritance. Glory to God. And your obedience leaves an oh. inheritance oh. to your children's Children, so, your oh. obedience extends the blessing oh. to generations. Oh, this man. is the heritage of the <laughs> servants of the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. I love that. Right? The scripture tells us no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Right. And if any tongue rises up against us, <laughs> um, it, it, it will be condemned. It will be condemned. <laughs> and then it said, and this is yes. the yes. heritage of of the servants of the Lord. Lord. It's a part of my obedience. Oh, when I'm obedient to God, there's not a weapon form that can prosper. Oh, no. And it doesn't just affect my life. My obedience stops the weapons from prospering in my children's life. My obedience stops the weapons from prospering in my grandchildren's <laughs> life. My obedience stops the weapons from prospering to anybody connected Connect. to me. Shut Glory to God. Shut up. In case you don't have any children, don't worry. Anybody connected to you, receive oh, receive the blessing. Glory to God. I done got, whew, I done got excited. Glory Let to God. Tell you something. Glory to God. Let me tell you something. If yeah. you don't know nothing else this evening, we gave you a revelation about obedience. Obedience is the thing that a good man leave for his children's children. Glory to God. Is obedience. The spirit of obedience is better than money. Glory to but God. if you listen to the scripture, we thought we had to leave houses. Yeah. We got to leave cars. We thought it was material. Yeah. Obedience is something that you may not think is material. But listen to me. It is not. It's a seed. It, it, it's a seed. And the seed is Essential. 
Because for your children to continue to receive the extended blessings that's rightfully yours, theirs, provided you being obedient. Glory to God. So if you don't have anything in your natural bank account, oh, store it up to leave your children. Oh, <laughs> you got hear me. In the kingdom. Be sure <laughs> that you have obedience in your spiritual <laughs> bank account. Oh, come on. We need to say yeah. that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you don't have anything Oh, sugar. Uh, if you uh oh, insufficient funds fun. in your natural bank account, you don't have anything in your natural account to leave your children. Be sure, be sure that you have obedience in your spiritual bank account. Why? Because your obedience leaves an inheritance of wealth to your children's Children. Children. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to the God. The greatest investment you can make for your future is your obedience today. Oh, say it again, big dad. The greatest investment yes. you can make for your future is your obedience today. Glory to God. Your obedience extends the blessing. Your obedience extends, extends extends the blessing. the blessing. Let's go back, honey, and let's talk about extends again. What's the definition of extends again? To make larger. Oh, so my obedience makes things larger in my life. Go to ahead. increase in quantity. My obedience increases the quantity of things in my life. Or dimension. Oh, it expands my territory. Glory. To extend and limit. I love that. So my obedience, the extension of that has no limits, no boundaries, no walls, no beginning, no end. Because no. my my extension, the extension is God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory. Mm -hmm. The extension and the extender. The extension and the extender. So it can't have limits because he's the first and the last at the same time. Yes. He's the beginning and the end at the same time. He's the alpha and omega at the same time. There's no start or finish to God. There's no start or finish to God. There's no start or finish to God. Glory. No. No. So my obedience extends the blessing. There's no start or finish to my blessing. None. Oh, Hallelujah. man, Holy Spirit. That's There's no start oh, or finish to the blessing None. on my life. None. There's no beginning or end to the blessing on my oh, life. Oh man, that's good, Glory man. We had God. we hadn't received Thank that. you for that Ooh, revelation. There's no start of finish. Glory be to God. There are no limits no to the limits. blessing. Obedience in it. Oh, my obedience God. to God. God so loves our obedience Thank that you. He extends. Thank he you. extends yes. way beyond us. Thank you. He extends way past yeah, our children. He extends to the third and fourth generation. Hallelujah. He extends the blessing. There's no start or finish None. to the blessing. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. Can we finish the definition? Yeah. Ooh, glory. <laughs> glory. To cause something to straighten out. Or stretch out. So my obedience can cause things to straighten out in my life. And it can cause things to something that might be too short. If you ever come up short, it look like you still you got more month than you got what you need. No, 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 no. no. Ha, ha. Glory to God. The blessing can stretch it out. out. Oh, Y'all ever had some stuff stretched out? The five fish and the loaves of bread stretched out. Glory to God. So, honey, if you need something stretched out, you, you got scriptural, know. you got scripture to stand on, stand honey. On, huh? uh, God is in the stretching out Not business. 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 Glory to God. And your obedience puts you in position for the stretching Hallelujah. out. Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Just stretch forth or hold out. Oh, man, because you might need something held out. <laughs> to <laughs> add to something. In order to make it bigger or longer. Oh, well, that's the same thing. That's it. <laughs> Feed the multitude. I need the multitudes fed. Uh, I need the multitude fed. I got some stuff I need done. And my obedience brings it into my amen. life. See, but you got to know that. You got to know what belongs to you. You got to know that, th that this is the position that you have. Your obedience extends the blessing in your life. When you are obedient to God, you come before him with confidence. Oh. You don't come all like, oh, God, I don't mean, No, 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 no. I'm obedient. I am a an obedient child. That's right. An obedient child is not afraid to come before their no. father. Oh, glory. You come glory. with boldness. Who, glory. Accurate. All right. 
Go ahead, darling. Boldness, accurate, and you be excellent with your accent. Because I'm an obedient child. I'm an obedient child. I'm expected child. to receive what's sitting on the shelf for me. My name is on my blessing. It's a right. It's a right. Glory be to God. So what's the last one, darling? Extend. I'm sorry. Extend. I'm sorry. To continue in a specified direction. Distance, space, or time. Who <laughs> glory. That took care of everything. Direction, distance, space, or time. Direction, distance, space, or time. Everything Let's covered. end with this. Your obedience doesn't just bring blessings into your life. Your obedience makes you a blessing. And now, because you are a blessing, come on. It makes you a blessing. It brings Amen. blessing in your life. Then it makes you a blessing. And now that blessing goes to the generations. Glory be to God. This lesson here was fantastic. It, this is just the beginning because Holy Spirit gave us so much more. We knew we'll have to continue this next week. Your obedience extends the blessing. And what you say, the greatest investment you can make for your future is your obedience Please. today. Ooh. Amen. Ooh, glory be to God. That's Hallelujah. good. That's, that's, good, stuff, That's good. Lord, have mercy. I just want to pray in the spirit. <laughs> we love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for choosing life for us. We thank you for telling us the answer. We thank you for what you provided for us. We thank you there's no beginning or end. We thank you there's no first and last. We thank you, God, that uh, our obedience extends Amen. the blessing and there are no limits. Thank Glory you. to God. Stay on the line with thank us. You, We're going to unmute the line because we want to hear from you. We want to hear what thank you got out of this lesson. And if you are Facebook Live, uh, we want to read oh. your comments, but stay with us. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Thank you, Lord. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Glory. All participants are unmuted. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo, Chloe. Who go on the line? All right. Who wants to talk to us? Tell us what you got out of this lesson. Who want to go first? Praise God. Hello? Can you hear us? Praise the Lord. Well, we're so excited. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Oh, man, I forgot to even talk to y'all before I stopped the recording. But, you know, um, we just love to teach the Word of God. We got some comments on Facebook Live. We're going to run through those. Woo, glory. Somebody said this message is so on point for me. I was expecting to hear from heaven, and I did. Huh. My obedience extends the blessing to future generations. Woo, said we must be willing to obey the unknown, to hear and do simply by faith. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, they said, understand that the blessing is Abba's original plan for me and that I never have to beg for it. Oh, Hallelujah. we don't have to beg for the blessing. The blessing was not your idea. The blessing is God's idea. idea. Glory. It's mine because of covenant. It is my benefit through Christ. Obey promptly and do exactly what you're told to do by <laughs> Holy Spirit. <laughs> Glory to God. Anybody on the line want to share? I hear you. On Come the on. phone line, go ahead. You want to share? Okay. Praise me. I'm Pastor Donna. Hey, darling. I hear two different people. Um, I hear Angel. Angel, hold on one second. I hear Jermaine. Jermaine, go ahead, darling. What you get out of the lesson tonight? No, really quickly. I mean, I was so happy to like see you guys live because I figured it out. <laughs> then somewhere in there, I lost you guys. So I had to go off live and then go, you know, I technically saw so I missed something in there, but. I'm just going to keep it really, really simple. Yes. I know it, it's probably so basic to everybody, but it really hit me tonight profoundly that faith is the key. Yes, darling. That's all I had to say. Amen. Yes, baby. Glory. Faith is the key. Faith is the key. I mean, you said it. If without faith, what do you have? Yes. <laughs> It's the, it's the key to everything. Because you can't even obey God. You can't obey God without the faith, right? You can't even know God without faith. Hush your mouth to me. Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. It takes faith to do all of it. Yes. Thank God. And guess what? He started us out with faith. Right? He gave to every man 
a measure of faith. Amen. The measure and of the faith. Measure of so faith. he gave us what we needed to get us started. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. a good God. good God. To get us started and to bring us all the way through it. Yes. All right. Thank you for that, Jermaine. Angel, go ahead, darling. Hey, so what was amazing to me, I even thought about it, was about people leaving a uh, something in, in a will with their yeah. kids and generations to come. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't have anything, you can leave your obedience that will extend generations to come. That blew my mind. Girl, that blew up. That blew our mind too. That got put in the notes this morning. Cause we we were sharing with each other this morning. We were praying, and Hallelujah. and the spirit of God gave us that scripture. It just yes. dropped it down in us. And as we read it, it's like the light came on about it. It's like, wait a minute, that's connected to this lesson. Our obedience extends the blessing to generations. Oh, our obedience is our inheritance. Yeah, it blew. Oh man, that blew me away too. That's enough Woo. right there. That's enough right there to keep you moving now. And I love what Pastor <laughs> Billy said. Your obedience is better than money. Oh, it's the <laughs> it's the greatest thing that you can leave for people. Hey. Your obedience is a seed, and you when you sow it in the earth, oh. honey, it produces not just for you but for the future. Listen, they could cut all the grass they want, cut the trees. Nothing can and nothing can interfere with that. You put it in a bank account and don't have the paperwork right, your kids can't get it. My God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Another comment. My obedience puts me in position for the blessing. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank Please you. Enter your pen followed by the pound or hash. Okay. That's if you do not know your pen, please enter a pound. I'm not sure why that's happening. We're going to check that out. We'll anybody else on anybody the phone? else on the line want to tell us anything? Glory to God. Thank you. Another no. comment? Yes. yes. Okay, I kind of lost you guys. I know. I don't know what happened, but praise the Lord. You got another Any comment? Any other comment? All right. Anybody else want to say anything? I can't. I'm trying to figure out how I can slide this down. That's what I've been trying to work on to see all the comments that were going on during the lesson. That's what we were trying to work on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. This was awesome lesson. I, it changed my life. Anybody else want to share? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It's right. Woo <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Amen. Glory to Jesus. 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 All right, darling. Well, I just want to say um, this changed my life absolutely changed my life um it just it got me excited about being obedient yes 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 it just yes. made it just made me i couldn't wait for the opportunity to make a choice because <laughs> i get time. Yes, yes because you got to make a choice you know it's it, like Every time there's a situation in our lives, we get to make a choice. And so I'm excited about making the choice. Praise God. Amen. Because I know now that when I make that choice, it extends the blessing. Because I'm going to choose life. I'm not. I'm choosing Amen. blessing. I'm, never, I'm not choosing disobedience. Because I know that extends as well. And so I'm grateful to the Lord that uh, my choice, my choice is not just a choice for me. No. My choice is a choice for the future. And so I'm excited about that. You want to say you, anything else then? You, you most certainly now will think about your decision before you make it because now your decision don't only impact you. Yeah. It impacts your children, children, and third and fourth generations. Yes. Yes. So now we will look at our decisions based on being obedient so that we can extend the blessing, not disconnect the blessing. Oh, praise God. We want to extend the blessing. We don't want to disconnect the blessing. Well, this was an awesome lesson yes. for me. I'm excited about where where the Lord's going to take no. us uh, in this lesson because it's not over. No. Glory to God. It's not over. Holy Spirit is still shining his light of revelation on obedience. Glory to God. Oh, here goes another comment. Not only does obedience extend to generations, but disobedience also. Yes, yeah, and we said that in the, in the <laughs> beginning because the 
the sins of the fathers visits the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. So we know, but Holy Spirit was shining his light on this obedience yes, side because that's the side he wants you on. Amen. He wants on the obedience side. He wants to shine that light to us. He wants to shine the light on that yes. because that's the choice. Uh, the entrance of his word brings light and when we see that light, we're supposed to walk in the light. Glory to God. It's the lamp unto my feet. It's yes, the sir. light unto my yes, path. Sir. And so when he shines it, that's where I need to go. Amen. Wherever the light is shining, go. that's where I'm supposed to walk. <laughs> Glory to God. That's where I'm supposed Hallelujah. to step into. I'm so glad you guys joined us. Thank you so much Thank for you so much. Um, entrusting that you, entrusting us yes yes uh to share the word of god we don't take that lightly no. at all no. um because there is a great responsibility yes, in is. teaching the word of yes, god and so we pray thank you, pastor. yeah thank you i don't want to i mean i know you don't get discouraged but i know the enemy be talking in your ear whispering in your ear sometimes <laughs> don't even listen to it because Amen. whether it's one person or ten thousand people that you bring to God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much for that. Thank you for that. Thank we appreciate you. it. So we just we just consider it an um, honor. Yes. We consider it a privilege, what a privilege. to be a servant of yes. the Lord. I'm telling you, that is a privilege, That's a privilege. to be a servant of the yeah. most high God. Wow. And so we're excited about that. Um, we love teaching God's word, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. We yes, love we do. teaching the word of God. And so thank you for uh, joining us. And if you are in the Raleigh area, yes. we say uh, Sunday, where should they be, honey? You should come to Marsh Creek Community Center. That's 3050, I'm sorry, 3050 North New Hope Road. Yeah. Raleigh, North Carolina, 10 o'clock service. You will not be disappointed. Absolutely. So come. It's got it going on. <laughs> yeah. Household of Faith got it going on. You won't be disappointed. So come to Household of Faith Ministries on Sunday mornings, Marsh Creek Community Center, yes. Raleigh, North Carolina, 3050 North New Hope Road. Oh, you will not be disappointed. disappointed. Every Sunday at 10 a.m. If not, join us here on Wednesday, yes. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be right, right here yeah. teaching the Word of God. Oh, we, we teach the Word and we, we love, love the people. The peop I love the people. What love the world? The <laughs> oh, praise God. Uh, you can go back and listen to this lesson it's again. Right the playback. It's already on the conference call. You can call 712-775-7029 and the uh, access code 375-800-766-POUND and you can listen to the lesson right now. And you can also, we'll post it on Facebook in a few minutes on Household of Faith page. We will also share it onto Donna Porter's page Amen. and William Porter's page. And so it'll be on Facebook. You can go back and watch it again. Share the word of God with others. Go on and hit that share button. Send it out to other people. Amen. Let people know about the conference call. Because yes. there's nothing like the word of God. Glory be to Jesus. It. Absolutely it. nothing like it. Keep renewing your mind. Don't hear it one time. It's not enough. Uh -uh. One time is not enough. What you always say, rehearse the rehearse word. Rehearse the word. Rehearse the word. We love you guys. We love y'all. So we will see love you. you too. See thank you either. You. Thank you, darling. See you either Sunday or back here on Wednesday night. Love you. Bless you. See you Sunday. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>